Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 8. Okay? If you have in your Bible, say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. our guests and visitors. Thank you for coming. Just feel at home. Praise God. Have your so very welcome in this place. To everything, there is a season. Yeah. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born. And a time to die. A time to plant. And a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill. And a time to heal. A time to break down. And a time to build up. A time to weep. And a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rent. And a time to sue, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak. Last verse. A time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that have understanding of the times, Everybody shout, understanding of the times. Understanding of the times. Of all the tribes of Israel, only the tribe of Issachar, the children of Issachar, have the understanding of the times. To know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were 200, and all their brethren, at their commandment. How many people? 200. Only 200 out of the whole nation of Israel had an understanding about the times. I will bring to you a simple subject this afternoon and by the help of God in His title, A Time for Everything. Amen. Everybody shout, A Time for Everything. A Time for Everything. Now, this is an understanding time and making use of it. So, we need to understand time and making use of it. So we bow down our head and let us ask the Lord, Lord, bless me with your message today. Bless me with your word today. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. Lead my mouth to speak the very word. Hallelujah in your heart for your children. Hallelujah. As you make me as a mouthpiece today, thank you for this privilege, Father. We honor you. We lift up your name, Father, in the name of Jesus, the Christ and Savior. Hallelujah. Be in our midst, O Lord. Touch every heart. Touch every broken heart. Man, every broken soul. Hallelujah. Lord, bless our spirit, O God, that we may go home, Lord, full of energy, full of hope and courage. Hallelujah. Bless our children, our family in the Philippines, O Lord God. Hallelujah. As we listen to your word, I will receive it with an open heart. And my faith, O God, will raise up. Hallelujah. To your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. I rebuke every evil spirit that will try to stop. Hallelujah. And try to divert our attention, God. And I lose the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Do your will, Father, in our needs. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. Clap your hands to the Lord one more time. Yung palakpak na para sa Panginoon, hindi yung palakpak para sa kaskitulista. Yung palakpak para kay Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We clap our hands and to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Before you sit down, tell your neighbor, tell her, tell him, what time is it? What time is it? You may not take your seat. May the Lord will bless you. Hallelujah, Jesus. A time for everything. What is time? Who is able to explain it briefly? Time is gold. Time is money. And must be spent wisely. Amen. 
We have been told all of our lives about those praises. But have we any choice not to spend it? Of course, we do not have any choice. The hands of the clock move onward inexorably. We have no control over their speed of life. We miss, we miss stop the timer in the basketball game. We miss stop the timer, praise God, hallelujah, of your clock or post the watch. Praise God for any Bible quizzing competition, but never in the game of life, never the time, praise God, that you can post or stop it. Yes. Right. In boxing match, every three minutes, it's another round. And there is a time, praise God, to push. Praise God, hallelujah, for the game. Any game in this world, time can be manipulated. Praise God. But never in the game of life, time cannot be stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Time flies. We usually exclaim. When we mean that we have accomplished the results. Expected within the available time. We say time will take care of it instead of asserting that the condition will undoubtedly rectify itself given adequate time. We protest. I don't have time. Praise God. Pastor Tasa, please stop sending homework. I don't have time. We protest. Teacher, can we have an exam next time? I don't have time. We protest, I don't have time. Instead of admitting that the proposal is not sufficiently important to warrant our time for it, we always give time for things that are important enough. Yeah. I repeat it again, we always give time for the things that are important enough. This is our day off. And why you are here? Why you spend your time in the house of God? Because we believe this is the most important thing to do during our day off. After all, time is not money or even a commodity. It's not going anywhere. It cannot speed it up. It cannot slow down. It cannot be bought. It cannot be bartered. Time cannot be postponed. Time cannot be retrieved. It cannot be cancelled. Time cannot be replaced. It is, as Webster Dictionary put it simply, the period during which action or process is being continued. Mr. Webster put the meaning of time as this. The period during which action or process continue? Amen. Everybody shout equal time. Equal time. When God chose to create us, along with life itself came his gift to all the world. It's called time. We have the same amount of time in every day as everyone else has. Whether a vendor or a president, executive or a plain housewife, driver or businessman, partner or fisherman, the clock we, we wear run at the same rate. We have whoever. Yes, we have. We have time. Everybody shall. I have time. Whoever we are, whatever we be, the same number of minutes and hours, no one has any more time than you. Likashi is well known in Asia as one of the top, praise God, hallelujah, wealthy people. Their time is just the same as the time of a helper. But this is the question that I'm going to throw to you. Why is it that some are successful while others are failure when they have an equal amount of time? Now think about it. We have the same amount of gift from God. The moment that we cry from our mother's womb, praise God, the moment that we are being delivered from the mama's tummy, God has given you the same gift 
Whether you are brown, orange, blue, or yellow. Praise God. Kahit mata mo singkit or malaki, you have the same time. Whether you came from Africa, Asia, North America, or came from Antarctica, you have the same time. Why others are so successful when others are a failure even though we have the same amount of time? The answer is so simple. Jesus gives it in Matthew 25, 14. Praise God up to 30. Praise God, that's the answer there. Listen carefully. Some fail because of unwise use of their time. They fail. They were not productive because they were not wise to use time. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. That country is Hong Kong. I suppose. But verse 14, praise God. Verse, okay? For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling I have a new passport. I'm so sad. There's no job. Praise God. For the last three years. We're not able to travel. Who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. He was a very rich man in the parable. Praise God. So the kingdom of heaven is like this rich man. He had lots of properties. And he called his servants. And they delivered them to them. He delivered to them different goods, amount of goods. And at the one, he gave five talents. Okay, let's let's make one talent a thousand Hong Kong dollars. So he gave five thousand Hong Kong dollars. In this last Chinese New Year, who among you received a IC like five thousand Hong Kong dollars? Don't raise your hands, please. <laughs> So at the one, he gave 5,000. Five talents. And to another two, to another two, and to another one. To every man, according to his similar ability. So the measurement of the goods they receive, brother and mark, is based on their ability how to handle it. Yes, right. yes. So if you are going to look at the parable about the kingdom of heaven, it's very obvious that all the people in this world are not, are, are, is not, are not the same, economically speaking. Yes. Yes. Because of our similar abilities. Yes. There are people who are born, praise God, their abilities are like businessmen. Bumibili ng marami mga web traffic, ibinta mga kapatid. Bumibili ng marami, it's over. Bumili ng marami mga bubot. Bumili ng marami mga kindimit. Sister Sepi, I'm talking about, you know, kindis in the Philippines. There are people who are good in business. There are people who are good in, you know, their capital is their laway. Their capital is their saliba. They're good in talking. And the, and the, and the uh, position themselves as a middleman. Yeah. They don't know how to, you know, plant rice. Yeah. But, the par but, but the farmers, they are friends. They befriended the farmers. And they said, okay, uh, I, I will buy your you know, product. And I will deliver it to the, praise God, to the market. Yeah. He have no land. He have no carabao. He have no capital. Just lawai. Yeah. Brother and sister, send me you have a word. Lawai. <laughs> they just use, praise God, their, their ability to speak and receive the product of the farmer delivered to the market. So they have a lot of gains, and there are so many people who are become wealthy just because of this kind of gift. When the farmer, praise God, year after year, cropping after cropping, still the same poor farmer, when the middle one became so very rich. So when you go home, 
apply the middle man. Everybody shout amen. amen. So if you are going to look at the parable of Jesus, every person is not the same. We have different levels of abilities. So quit comparing one another. Quit comparing your husband to another husband. It will just create a way. Stop comparing people. Because Jesus said, even in this parable, every person has several and different abilities. So the first guy received five talents. The other guy received two talents. And the last one received one talent. To every man, everybody shout, to every man, according to his several ability. And straightway took his journey. After he delivered the goods, he went to another country. And the Bible said, then he that had received five talents went and traded with the same and made them another five talents. So he traded the five talents and it became ten talents. May ganan siya kagad siya. Lord lang yun, nakaganan siya kagad. No, no, pati. Pero dahil inutang ng Lord, walang ganan siya. Okay. Now I just do this so that you will not sleep. Verse 17. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained another one. Look at the terms that the Bible uses. Traded, gained. God has given you talents. God has given you abilities. If you will not train, if you will not praise God, do or use that talent, it will not grow. Yeah. Actually, there are many brothers that are he's sitting here, have the potential to preach the gospel. And because you are so shy, praise God, as you don't want praise God to train the abilities that you have, you just be stuck there for how many years of new life fellowship. Your leaders try to, sister, you will be the uh, exhorter in our group uh, meeting, in our group service. No, 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 no. I have no time. <laughs> Praise God. You will be the soul leader. Sorry, I have no time. <laughs> Verse 18, the Bible said, But he that had received one went and did in the earth and hid his Lord's Money. So what is talent? Money. I repeat it again. Now you understand the parable. The talent is actually money. Some of you receive 5,000 Hong Kong dollars with food allowance. Some of you receive 7,000 Hong Kong dollars with food allowance. Some of you receive 10,000 Hong Kong dollars with food allowance. Some of you receive 15,000 without food allowance. <laughs> but sometimes in reality, those who receive 5,000 are more happy than who receive 15,000. Yeah. What happened in the world? Could we please swap? <laughs> there are people who are contented with 5,000. They are happy. And they are used to it. And they try to praise God. They are enjoying it. Yes. But there are people who receive 25,000 Hong Kong dollars. And they are still sad. Yeah. <laughs> Is that really the irony of life? Pastor, pray for me that my salary will increase. <laughs> and your employer, the, the Lord touched the heart of your employer. Praise God. The employer increase your salary. And the moment that you receive the first salary that, it, that the employer has already increased, you become so sad. <laughs> <laughs> and then another prayer request. So, salary increase. <laughs> Hallelujah. When, some, you, when your salary was still minimum, you're very happy. Yeah. When your salary is now increased at least a little, a thousand, you're not happy. So I think we will pray, Lord, decrease the salary. <laughs> and I believe no one will say amen with that. 
Everybody shout equal time. Equal time. He traded. He gained with that money. So the last guy, he hid his money under the earth. He did not trade. He did, he did not use his money. And when the time comes, then the boss came back. Praise God. In verse 32, praise God. Or 31, 30. The boss was so very angry to the one who did not trade his money. He just had his talent. Attention, all talented people. <laughs> Don't hide your talents. Yeah. There are many of you who are very talented in composing songs. You are just hiding. Some of you are very talented, praise God, in, it's going to say, internal decorations, but you are just hiding yourself. You just always criticize, what kind of decorations in the church? <laughs> they don't know how to decorate the church. Come on. Praise God. Amen. There are many talented here. It's time for you to show your talent and give it to the Lord. Everybody say amen. amen. He hide. There's no gain. And when the master of the house came, he was so angry. And he said, Cast ye the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of death. This is the picture of hell. Eternal damnation. Jesus was just using these terms in the parable. Now remember, this is the kingdom of heaven. The story is about the kingdom of heaven. Those unprofitable servants, they are still servants. But the only problem is they were unprofitable, useless. Because they did not trade the talent. And God and the boss of the house said, throw him away into the outer darkness. Were weeping and gnashing of teeth. 31. This is what the Bible said. When the Son of Man shall come in His glory. This is now the live application of the parable. When the Son of Man shall come in His glory. And all the holy angels with Him. Who will be with the Son of... Praise God. Holy Son of Man. Angels. Holy angels. Then shall He sit upon the throne of His glory. Hallelujah. Last verse. And before Him shall He shall be gathered all nations, including the Philippines. And he shall separate them, one from another, as a shepherd divided the sheep from the goats. Praise God. It will be like this, Jesus said, this will be the picture when the Son of Man will come to judge the world. And all nations will be gathered, brother and mother, in proud of God. And he will separate the goat and the sheep. Yes. Sino ba yung mga goat? The goats are those people who sleep during preaching. <laughs> the goats are those people who don't trade in the talents. Amen. Everybody shout amen. amen. So that's the reason why some are successful, some are failure, even though they have the same equal amount of time. Mm -hmm. And then the second reason is, why others are successful and others are failure? Proper timing. Amen. Everybody shout, proper timing. Proper timing. When you get married, you must have a proper timing. Just everybody think about it. <laughs> When you decide to get married when you're 17 years old, it's not a timing. Wrong timing. <laughs> proper timing. Everybody shout proper timing. Proper timing. Lack of understanding of the seasons and times may lead also to a futile effort. You may be a workaholic. Praise God, for example, the apartment. Without understanding the season, Praise God, the crops would be destroyed. Yeah. If you plant a 
know what I mean? Your beauty will be wasted. <laughs> While we have still the strength, while we are still alive, yes. let us grab the opportunity to give this life unto the Lord. This is the right timing. Praise the Hallelujah to worship Him. This is the right timing to go back to God and say, Lord, magbalik Lord ako sa iyo. This is the right timing, Sister Selby, to say, I will honor you, Lord. I will worship your name. Don't wait that you become a bit greater and ask for a priest or a pastor to come and to visit you for a prayer. Don't wait that moment. Now, I, we have a time right now. I give you one minute. We have a time. What will you do with your one minute? Lord, show me tonight. 
Magparamdam ka man mo. That's it, but a cycle spirit. Don't follow signs. Because the reality, if you are a believer of Jesus, signs will follow you. That's what the Bible says. To them who believe, these signs shall follow them that believe. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Signs will follow to a faithful Christian. So those people who are seeking signs, that's wrong. Sign will not be in front of you. Sign will be behind you. That's right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. If you see a car, praise God, and the horse is at the back and the car is in front, praise God, something wrong with the driver. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I remember my mother. I will use my mother as an example. First time she visited here in Hong Kong, and you know, from the airport going here, there's lots of very nice view, you know. So I bring her at the second floor of the bus, at the second, the, uh, the, the upper deck. And then we sit at the very first row. So that my plan, okay, when we are going to pass the bridge in Chingma Bridge, I can video, I can video her. Praise God as a remembrance that my mom, uh, praise God, visited her in Hong Kong. But at the airport, Sister Paddy, Praise God, she almost collapsed. <laughs> because when I bring her, praise God, at the, at the upper deck, when the bus starts to move, she almost cannot break. <laughs> you know why? She said, where, where is the driver? She was looking for the driver. Why the bus was moving? Where is the driver? <laughs> That's true. forget. When we arrive in our boarding, uh, in our club, that's what her words in the mouth. When she arrived back to the Philippines, that's her testimony. And until now, that's her testimony. She was not observant. 